Hi folks. So tonight we're going to talk about the LED projector light slideshow. Bears reviews, 100% honest, 100% of the time. And this is what the projector looks like. And there are six LEDs in here that rotate. Here is where the cartridges, or, or they're actually called a gobo, slide in. And here there's a metal cap. And then there is a little rubber gasket. And then the card slides in like this. Now there is a wrong way that it goes in you'll see it doesn't quite go down all the way and then there's a correct way the instructions are not correct on how it goes in because this camera or this projector is waterproof if you're going to set it outside when you change your slide and you go to put these little screws back in they include a little allen wrench and you want to make sure you snug it down that way water doesn't get in Changing the slides is very simple. They come in like this. They come in a little baggy like this. And each one has one of the different images you see here. Okay. These are the different uh, patterns that they'll make. And I'll show you what the snowflake looks like uh, when it's shot. And I can give you an idea how the Christmas one can look like. But what will happen is the pattern will rotate. Uh, like they see here, but it'll go around in a, in a circle, okay? And uh, let's see here. There's your 12 pattern slides. You see how it's done. Now, what like this shows, it's going to rotate as it's showing these around. And it's a fairly good size. The farther away the projector is from the object that you're projecting it onto, the softer the image is. The closer it is, the sharper it'll be. Of course, the smaller it'll be also. Okay? And this shows you what I was telling you about, about how it works. Okay, now this, this picture here of this screw, this is wrong. This is actually an Allen wrench now. Okay? Now, when you get it, this is what you're going to get. And I'm going to show you in the picture, but there is a problem with this mount right here where that there's a nut that goes through there to attach the leg. And there's a problem where that is not being drilled all the way through at the factory. And it's very easy to fix. You just take a little razor knife or a small drill bit and it'll go right through it. Uh, I have reported it to the manufacturer and we'll see what they go what they do from there. So uh, comes in this small box and here's the stand now one of the nice things about the stand is if you wanted to you could just put this right on the stand this can be mounted on a wall okay uh, there is no pin here if you wanted to mount it on the wall I would probably drill a hole and put a, a little screw in there to, to lock it down okay this tightens up right here, and that's how you stop it from, from wiggling. And um, they give you a spare gasket, cap screws, and wing nut for the stand. There's a the little Allen wrench they give you. They do give you a set of instructions. Um, they're not the greatest instructions, but they're there. And it comes with... the individual adapter here which is water sealed there's a little ring little gasket right there and that gasket makes it waterproof now this cord is very 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 long and yeah there there is no on off switch so the minute you plug this in it starts working so now there is a little keyway right here I'll show you the K 
keyway right there. And that has to go in. There we go. It is kind of a tight fit, which is which is good. That's what you want. So you can see here, this is a very, very, very long cord. Let's see how long this cord is. We got six. 12, 18 foot. So, now the minute you plug it in, you're going to see it comes on. Okay. Now, this is with room light. You'll see that the snowflakes are pretty well focused. As you bring them out, you'll see they get much softer. Okay. Let me turn the light off. See that a little better. Okay, and then as you get closer, you'll see they get much sharper, but also much smaller. Okay, I want to show you a couple of the other ones here. Let's see what we've got here. There is without any pattern whatsoever. So you see, it's kind of warm. So you are going to get a little bit of shadowing. There's your happy birthday one. I'm not sure why that's backwards. Because they say if it's backwards, turn it around, but it doesn't work that way. Let's try it this way. There's your star. See, that looks backwards. See, so if you put it in wrong, you won't get what you think you're going to get. There's your dove. Not bad, not bad. There's your shamrock. They are green. There's a, another birthday-ish one. I think you're seeing that. Here's your heart. Kind of nice, butterflies. Okay. The bottom leaves, fall leaves. And if you want to turn it, just turn it. Okay. There we go. There's Santa. Don't look that close, you can really see it. Okay. So you see it's not bad. Now, the light is not super bright, as you can see, okay? So when it's across the room, uh, it's it's not that bright, but it's not so dim um, that it's not usable either. Remember, this is made primarily to go outside, so you really wouldn't want it so bright that you're blinding your neighbors at night you know they they probably wouldn't appreciate that and you don't want to blind yourself so um now in my case i used it for uh photography and i used it as what they call a gobo to project snowflakes onto our wall and i'll show you a couple of the finished images of that so um it's not a bad unit at all uh it doesn't get hot at all i had mine on for all about two hours, two and a half hours, it never did get warm. Um, I do wish it had a switch, and I wish that the discoloration around the lenses wasn't so obvious. In other words, when you don't have a uh, filter in there, you got that gray area around the circles. I wish that wasn't there. Um, but I can't say it's a defect. Um, I would probably give it four and a half stars, not quite five. If it didn't have that kind of off cast, um, around the lenses, and if it had a switch to shut the motor on or off, then it would absolutely be a five. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be in my photo bag. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change these small, uh, 
cutouts here to bigger ones. So that instead of having four images, I'll have one bigger image. And we'll see how that works. So that's it. To find out about new reviews, be sure to hit the subscribe button. The link for this product will be in the description below.